good cold morning. This is Clint with Seeking Adventure. It's uh, about 10 degrees out uh, according to my thermometer in the house. Uh, just kind of wanted to go over uh, my newest addition to my uh, overland off-road trailer build that I did. I installed a, a Chinese diesel heater in it. Just gonna go over it with you guys today. Um, let's and see how it performs. So uh, let's go in here and kind of see what the temperature is right now. It's kind of cold, little wind. Um, let's see here. That is showing. I must have a low battery. Outside, it's looking like it's uh, seven degrees. It's showing there. So right here is my controller, uh, my charge controller. Looks like I got 12.6 volts in my battery right now. So uh, let's turn this on, see what it does. So it's, uh, so it looks like it's firing it up right now. So, so I'm gonna go, so it's set at two Hertz, which is, equal to 15 degrees Celsius uh, Fahrenheit. I'm not sure what that is. So uh, I'm gonna let this get firing up. I'll show you the back. Um, one thing to talk about the Hertz, this came with a, uh, from the factory 1.6 Hertz. And I looked on YouTube and was able to find the code and you can go in there and turn that Hertz down. When I first installed this uh, a couple weeks ago, it was about 60 degrees out. Even on the lowest setting, it would run you out of here. It was like 96, 97 degrees within 20, 30 minutes. So it was way too hot. So kind of be interesting to see how it does since it's colder now. Next weekend, we're gonna be uh, heading up to Jackson, uh, try it out, see how it works. So, uh, this is the heater right here. Let me move this chair out of the way. So, I don't know if you can hear that. That's a little fuel pump uh, pump in there. The way a Chinese uh, diesel heater works, it uh, burns diesel fuel, heats up a heat exchanger, and then there's a fan over here that uh, blows fresh air into here across the heat exchanger. So it's and then it uh, discharges the hot air here, blows it inside the cabin area. Um, so these also have a exhaust. Um, so this pipe is just kind of like a, a heat shield that I built out of some exhaust pipe. And then if you get under there, you can actually see the uh, exhaust there. So it comes down through, I used a, a floor flange, cut, drilled the hole out a little bit, bigger installed that put that in there. I also used a header uh, pipe wrap on the exhaust to keep from building heat up in this area. Uh, I've only seen probably 88 degrees I think was the highest. Um, comes down to there you can see the uh, exhaust wrap and then you can see where it turns and comes out the little muffler. So you can hear it's uh, starting to fire up little fuel pump starting to click more. So this is the fresh air intake for the, uh, for the, I guess the combustion chamber it would be. Now there it goes, it's getting a little faster, firing up more. Um, so I went ahead and also installed a uh, tank that it came with to uh, put diesel fuel in there. I only put one gallon in it when I first started a couple weeks ago. Uh, on the low setting, I have figured out it should burn 24 hours on a gallon of diesel. So uh, I made this so I can uh, loosen the strap up, pull the tank out, fill it up outside so I don't get spilled diesel fuel in here. I still need to put on a shutoff valve. So as you can hear, it's really starting to take off now. The fuel pump almost sounds like a jet engine. So that's uh, still kind of cool yet. So she's still heating up. Uh, I'll check back with you here in a few minutes. All 
right, so it's been about 10 minutes uh, since I left you guys. The air's just uh, pumping away, generating heat. Uh, something else I should have mentioned to you is I have it mounted on this bracket, which is screwed on this board back here. None of the weight is resting on that uh, heat shield or that exhaust pipe I built. So, um, something else that does run off of uh, 12 volts, uh, it uses a uh, glow plug to get it fired up and then once the uh, glow plug and it gets fired up it shuts off so then you're just using uh, a little bit of voltage or a little bit of amps to run the fan on the on the heater itself uh, usually pulls about one amp so uh, when it's uh, first starting up it'll run about seven amps or so eight amps I have not checked it on this because I don't have it wired up through my charge controller. But that's just what I've uh, seen on uh, YouTube and stuff. So you can see uh, it's here. That's pretty warm right now. That exhaust or that uh, heat that it's putting out. This runs into that accordion stuff. Let's go back inside. Look at uh, what the temperature's doing so far. I need to close that door up. You can see we're 8 degrees, uh, 39 degrees in here so far. Uh, right there's the exhaust, fairly warm. I do have a temp gun, but it kind of doesn't work very good sometimes. So, let me see. So, see, I don't know if you can see that laser light. So let's put about 160 degrees coming out so there's the wood the woods you know 20 20 some degrees you put it right where the forced air is coming out it's yeah right around 160 170 180 so once it uh, gets up to temperature that fuel pump will start slowing down and uh, it'll uh, start using less fuel and then kind of just maintain the heat so that's one thing I did for changing the Hertz on that is I can really turn it down to keep it comfortable in here so it doesn't overheat and as I said earlier I'll be kind of interested to see what it does so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close the door now you can see we're already 43 degrees in here and it actually feels warmer than that I've been out shoveling snow so it might be a little cold and just the warm air feels good so I'm gonna go grocery shopping, come back, and uh, we'll see how it's doing. You know, something else I wanna show you too, real quick, is uh, the temperature. So there's the heat shield showing uh, about 65 degrees. I'll get right on the exhaust pipe there, and it's about. over 200 I don't know why it does not like so that's about 160 that hose there coming underneath it's about 240 degrees on the exhaust pipe so. all right I'll catch back up with you here later on today see how it does uh, it's been about two and a half hours a little over two and a half hours since uh, I started it up this morning. It's probably 13 degrees out. I did change the uh, controller down from two Hertz down to 1.6. And on the Hertz, the higher the Hertz, the more frequent the pump pulses uh, that pumps diesel into the heater. So as you turn the Hertz down, it's gonna feed less fuel into the uh, heater. So I didn't explain that to you earlier. <coughs> Excuse me, I want to kind of show you something too. Um, this is the heat shield that I have here. You can tell it's been running, been running two and a half hours. So it's uh, really cool. You know, the plywood's cold, that flange is cold. So you, anybody that's uh, kind of worried about that's going to create uh, spontaneous combustion, you know, it's not. You know, I uh, really tried to make sure that I wasn't going to build any heat up and burn this thing down. So. Uh, you know on the forced air part of it here uh, That little aluminum piece is pretty warm. You know, I put my hand on there, but it is warm 
So it's uh, just cooking along. Let's go inside, check the temperature. So, uh, okay, it's still uh, 10 degrees outside right now. Uh, 86 degrees in here. It's uh, 240 now. Um, uh, it was like right at noon because I changed the batteries in the uh, thermometer there right after I started it this morning and then it reset it at noon so it's been going about two hours 40 minutes so let me uh, let me show you this controller so there I just turned it down to I don't know if you can see that I'm gonna turn it down to uh, probably well so it goes from 1.3 sorry about that so it goes in odd numbers. So I'm going to turn it down to 1.1 hertz. Uh, come back a little bit later, see what it does. See how much if it gets it down in that 70 degree range. So I'll talk to you after a little bit. Thanks. All right, it's been close to six hours since I started this this morning. Uh, let's check it out, uh, see how it looks. Um, started out at uh, 2 hertz on the uh, heater earlier today, about halfway through the day, I turned it down to 1.6 and then here, probably about two hours ago, I turned it down to 1.1 hertz. Uh, it was like 83, 84 degrees in there. Uh, something I want to show you, uh, we'll look at the temperature here in a second, is uh, it's been over 80 degrees inside for about six hours. and all the snow that's still on there so that shows how good the wood and the, you know half inch foam board insulates it if it didn't have good insulation all that would have been melted off by now you can see a little bit of ice where it's kind of been melting a tiny bit but it's kind of impressive to see that so uh, let's look and see okay so we uh, still 12 degrees outside and it's 80 degrees in here so and I started that thermometer, changed batteries, uh, and it reset at noon or at 12 a.m. And now it's 5:43. So yeah, about six hours. So it's still uh, running there. You can see it's uh, you know 1.1 what it's been running at. So it's nice and toasty. I think it's going to be good. I could probably turn that down to about one and go from there. All right, let's go look at the heater. One more time, I'll show you the temperature. So, as you can see, it's been running almost six hours. I can touch that fine. Everything's good there. Flange is there. So, yeah, works good. So, uh, if you guys have any questions or anything on it, just let me know. Uh, just uh, ask away. Uh, please like and subscribe, and maybe I'll uh, produce more content like this. If you have any questions on the build, uh, I made a video earlier, posted it. Uh, been getting a lot of questions on that. And then uh, also, I'll put the link to the heater in the, the description down below. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.